in total, I applied to Air Force, I applied to Lassoot, I applied to HMB Ogun State, HS Lagos, HMB Abuja, BUT Odomosho, Exus, UCH Ibadan, <laughs> National Hospital Abuja, Guadalada Hospital, HMB Ondo, FMC Owo, UCH Calabar. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Akin Lalis. If you're new to this channel, thank you very much for stopping by. Please do not forget to subscribe, like, and comment if you like my content. And also, if you're a returning subscriber, thank you very much for coming back. I really appreciate it. Now, from the title of today's video, you can already know that I want to discuss my internship journey, like school, internship, and all. A little backstory. My name is Akin Lalis. I studied medical laboratory science um at afe babala university from 2014 to 2019 so the course is basically a five years program now entering university to study medical laboratory science i knew the basis of what i was going to study i knew i was going to have to work in the laboratory i was looking more at the research aspect i wanted to work in research or i am i still want to work in research after school so then I went for medical laboratory science. At first I wanted to study forensic archaeology, but then I realized that we don't have that here in Nigeria. So I decided to go for medical laboratory science. And entering university, I didn't really, I knew the basis about the course, but I've never had anything about internship. I never had anything about a one year compulsory internship for that course. Um, the only thing I knew was that you finish, you go for NYC, or rather that was my thought. Uh, the first time I heard about internship was in 300 level, that was my third year. And then I just heard that, yes, you have to do a one year compulsory internship program in the hospital before you go for it for your NYC. But that was all I heard about the program then. So, fast forward to 400 level, fourth year in uni. I started hearing tales of people who have finished school two, three years and they've not still gotten internship placement. And without the internship, you cannot do, you can't go further to NYS, which is actually the National Youth Service Corps here in Nigeria. So it's more like a post, but then, you know, throughout all these tales of war, tales of the internship people were telling me, I never allowed it to cross my mind that I wasn't going to get internship on time. Like I always told myself, I was going to get internship that year I finished school. and. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. I wasn't going to let any other contrary opinion cross my mind. It never even crossed my mind. I didn't even allow myself to think about it. I didn't let the cross touch my I didn't even let the thought cross my mind. So now the real deal. Getting back after I finished final my final professional exam in June 2019. I came back, we came back, I came back to Lagos. Then I heard they were Air Force was open for application at, at that point in time. At that point in time, I had not done my induction and I really could not apply. I got the form planning to apply. I couldn't really apply early because of I had not gotten my license. Then we need a license. There's a license you always get to be able to practice. It's actually called a provisional license. And then I had not gotten my license. So fortunately for me or for all of us that actually applied at Air Force, we did our induction first or second week of august 2019 i got my license i think the next day i was able to come down to air force i left akt the next day came down to lagos to be able to apply at the place luckily for me i was able to apply air force was a air force was the very first place we applied air force was like a three-day exam and then the first thing was we had to do was documentation and we had issues, uh, people, me and my colleagues from my school, we had issues at first because we did not have a university certificate. Our convocation was not meant, our convocation was slated for 21st of October and that was August. And so we've not gotten our university certificate, the stuff, shadow certificate stuff. And then we really had issues, but then our HOD was able to work here, send us a letter saying that we're waiting for convocation and all that. We, they allowed us to do the exam. We screened documentation, exam, the third day was interview. We did it, yes and good. Funny enough, the result of efforts, that was in August. The result of efforts did not come out till November. Long story cut short, they didn't pick me. Yes, 
they did not pick me even if i was so very very hopeful about that effort i was very very hopeful about the efforts the second place that i applied to i applied to last year that's Lagos state university teaching hospital paid five thousand naira. we wrote the exam i was very hopeful because we were not much that wrote that particular exam i wrote the exam and then this one i didn't even get called for interview at this point in time i was already saying what's wrong is it like i don't know shit or what exactly is wrong in total i applied to Air Force, I applied to Lassoot, I applied to HMB Ogun State, HS Lagos, HMB Abuja, BUT Odomosho, Exus, UCH Ibadan, <laughs> National Hospital Abuja, Guadalada Hospital, HMB Ondo, FMC Owo, UCH Calabar. You still count it, right? 13 different, 13 different places I applied to. And then with each application i always had this positive feeling that yes i was going to get it i was i always had this positive mindset i never allowed any negative thoughts or feeling come through my mind but then each time i feel i always felt down and no bothered basically now my challenges um no but uh, firstly i first i started questioning my knowledge i started asking myself what was i doing wrong is it like Am I getting zero in these exams? Am I answering questions wrong in my interview? I basically started questioning my my knowledge about everything. Secondly, I was always, I was very bothered about time going. Like, oh, first month has gone. I should be doing internship now. I would have done one month internship. Second month, my mate have my mate have done two month internship. I was actually really bothered because time was going on. The internship program is always a one-year program if you're to, if you start in january you'll finish next year january if you start in november you finish next year november you cannot say no matter how fast you want to rush it it is always it is that stipulated one year there is no you can't fast forward you cannot shorten you cannot elongate it so it's just that one year so i was getting bothered that my time was going and my time was going by the time i would start when will i start when will i do nyc when will i do this when will i do that and then it got to a point in time my spirit started to be weary like it got to a point in time i I, legit, I legit stopped praying about it like normally i'll always pray god please sort out my internship placement help me sort out my internship pl placement but then i got to that point where i didn't pray about it. like i just do my normal i didn't put internship again as my in my prayer point i would not necessarily say because i was i just felt that if god wants to give me internship or if he wants to place me for my internship somewhere, I was going to do it. And then I did not need to remind him. But deep down, I was just like, I prayed. And I didn't see anything. So why why the whole thing? Before, I questioned my every actions and thought. You know, I always questioned my actions and thoughts based on the fact that I had not gotten an internship. You know, if my sub finished, for example, I would tell myself, oh, let me sub. And I'll tell myself, uh, you've not gotten your man, you're sobbing, you're doing Instagram, you're doing all that. I started questioning my every thought, actions, with the fact that I had not gotten the internship. Now, number fifth, I became hooked on movies. I, I got hooked on movies in the sense that I felt like movies were a form of escape reality. Like, legit, I was always watching movies. Even when I was not watching the movie, I was always thinking about probably what will happen next in the movie. The path have not worked i was legit the movies was just like a will it was basically an escape route from my reality for me so i got hooked on movies during that time now my saving grace during this period my grace saving grace i don't know how it happened but i got hooked on joshua selman's message um uh, i strictly i got I got a website link for Joshua Selman's message. Then I started downloading messages that were basically on personal growth and development. I didn't just download randomly. I, the website, I'll try to put it up if I can. They actually grouped his messages under um, family, relationship, spiritual growth, personal development and that. So I like downloaded all the messages on personal development. So I started listening to it one after the other. Like there was almost not a day going by by which I did not listen to the messages. I was always like, I slept off while I listened to the messages. Like in the middle of the night, my mom would probably be the one to come and take my phone and turn off the audio probably because I had slept off. I got hooked on Joshua Selman's message and that gave me a lot of inspiration, a lot of encouragement that 
is not the end of their world. At least the world has not ended or the old world has not come crashing down on me. It just gave me enough strength and courage. Then, in those moments when I was discouraged, I ensured that I hooked myself on Christian music, Christian songs that always made me happy. I was always trying to dance, making videos. A lot of videos I made, like dancing videos, never made it to my status because it was my WhatsApp status then. But I just tried to always do things that would just that would make my spirit happy, lift my spirit. I was always calling people, just laughing and gisting because I didn't want to think about the present. I didn't want the present situation to actually weigh me down. Then another thing that helped me that was a saving grace for me then was because I was working. So throughout probably the seven months that I stayed after, seven months counting from August, seven months that I stayed, I was working with I was working, I wasn't staying at home, so I was always, most of the time, I'm always busy. Probably is when I'm coming back from work, I'm in the bus, and I sit down, start thinking, oh, where is your life going to this day again? Where is your life heading towards? Is this how you're going to keep working? And I wasn't working in a, I was just working basically like a role of a receptionist. So it wasn't like it was medical related or something. So I just felt on saying, this is not where I'm meant to be. I should be going further but then those few periods where I was always at work and I was always busy it took my mind off a lot of things until I'm free again before I think okay you shouldn't be doing this you should be doing that and all that what I learned during that period was that I learned to be patient I learned how to relate to people see I met people from different walks of life in general where I was working people that on a normal day I probably would have had problem relating with them but because of the work environment I found myself in with them I just had to relate with them it was not something I could say because it was I couldn't take anything personal it actually helped me in developing a lot of tolerance for people I don't naturally have tolerance for people but then that period I was able to build my tolerance for people to a particular level then also it helped infused hard work in me because that i was working back to back i was working it was a 8 a.m to 6 p.m job like i resume 8 a.m i close 6 p.m and i probably get home very late so it was a time it was, it's a time consuming job so i learned how to just give it all give it my all now updates on the internship stuff so um last week of february i was at work and then i got a text message from somewhere that I got a text message from somewhere that I applied to in um, Lagos. Sorry, from somewhere I applied to outside Lagos that I, congratulations, I had gotten internship. Okay, but that place, the pay was not like, like the normal one. It was a little bit below the, the normal range. And I told myself I could manage, just let me do this internship and go. A part of me didn't want to actually choose that place. But then everybody was like, a bed at hand is better than a million something something i can't remember what they used to say a better a bed and is sharp better than a million bed at flight or at sight something like that at flight so i i took the job offer i was meant to resume first week of march where i had to do some things and then i ended up resuming the third week of march that was on the 16th of march i resumed i assumed duty day officially before then between the second week of march i was at abuja i went to abuja and that was when i applied to national hospital abuja and then guadalada hospital and when i came back the next week i resumed the duty at where i was meant to work and then i in my mind i was like i was going to keep on trying other places but that if no other place clicks before i reach two months there i'm not going to change again because even if i get another placement meaning i'm starting the one year all over again so i didn't want my time there to be like i didn't want to spend too long before i get another place because that's like repeating the whole process again so um 30th of march or towards that time i got another call from somewhere in lagos that I had gotten so I came back. I quickly came back to Lagos because then they were about to do an interstate lockdown due to the COVID-19 pandemic. So I quickly came back to Lagos and then I did my stuff, stuff, stuff. I did the medical test and all. Then I started work on the 30th of March. So 
currently I'm working I got internship now but throughout the seven months period I stayed at home um, I learned to see things in a different perspective I learned I learned different things see during that period I searched for I searched online for internship someone from Nigeria basically talking about internship in Nigeria the only person I saw anything close to that was Diana I think Diana I'll check and I'll link a uh, link to where she talked about how she studied biomedical science abroad and had to come back here to try to work and do internship and all that was the only thing I saw so I was always trying to look for something to give myself hope that okay if I see something online or a story of somebody that will give me hope that you're not alone in the struggle and I know I'm not alone there are a lot of people out there that are actually going through the same thing but basically that seven months it gave me it gave me a new perspective to seeing things and i feel if i started immediately eventually i would not have been able to learn what i've learned in this past few months and that was just something that i understood later just recently that was something i understood recently at that point in time i did not see it that way now so for intending scientists for intending MLS interns out today um, no matter what happens I just want to tell you that no matter what happens always ensure that your response to things are always the same thing don't let circumstances or situations deter you from whatever you're going to do now I know that everybody's story is not going to be there people will get immediately see a lot of you watching this or a lot of you who watch this will get immediately and a lot of people might not get into one month some people two months or people three months basically people are different and the fact that you've not gotten those no mean you are not wise or or doesn't mean anything it got it got to that point but basically I just want to tell you that learn to work with God learn to anchor yourself on Christ and everything you because he's the only one that can see you trust Secondly, don't be fully trusting on connections yes connections work i'm telling you the truth connections at least here in nigeria connections work but then don't be fully trusting on connections because connections can fail don't put your trust on connections because trust me when they fail you'll be devastated it'll be like i have no there's no more hope again there's no more way again there's no more root again but fully trust on god let god lead you see connections will feel is when you're looking for internship that you know there's connect and there's connect i don't know if you understand that there are people that will tell you your name is on the list when you see the this your name is on the list brother the list will come out nothing if you have any questions concern, concerning medical laboratory science practice in nigeria the internships internship process and all that so please if you want to share your story please don't forget to comment down below if you have suggestions if you have things to say about this internship if you have things to say about the internship system in nigeria which is greatly flawed which is very 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 greatly flawed please comment down below if you have anything any opinion suggestion questions or you want to share your story please i'll be elated to hear your stories to hear your own side of this coin and now please don't forget to like share subscribe and also click the notification bell to get notified whenever i post new videos please if you have any ideas for youtube videos that you want me to do please also do well to comment down below thank you very much